Hey, I'm Mr. Joel. It's sure nice to see you yesterday. This is the first thing we recorded from the down the line angle. Obviously, that looks a ton better. Way, way, way different. Like you noticed right away from what we've seen in the past. Where that club is hinged open much more on the downswing, or on the top of the backswing up there. And here, it's much, much closer to being on plane than we've ever seen in the past after not having seen it, you know, for a few weeks. So that is great news. And that's why those are some of the main reasons you're hitting it so much better right now than with the driver. And then that thing is definitely so much more close to being on plane than what we'd seen in the past instead of being so much above the plane where you're pull hooking it so much. Now we're seeing these balls starting to the right so much better. And now the draw is ending up more in the middle of the hole in the fairway instead of out on the left side somewhere. And then here, yeah, another one. face on angle. And then here are these practice swings I had to take. You can see how smooth that looks. Again, kind of letting you see, buddy, that you can look more like those lady tour players with that rhythm. And that kind of smoothness, you can actually pull it off. Good. And then from the face on angle, it looked very smooth and balanced, Alan. And the rehinge happened very, very well right there, which again would be very different for you. And again, there's so much power in that rehinge there, Alan, that I think that'll help your lower body and upper body not feel like. It needs to jump at the ball quite so much. And you can let those wrists really continue to get better and better. They're already getting better the last few months. Just continue to feel that hinge feeling at the top where those wrists work like that. Good, good work, Alan. Talk to you soon. This is Joel Suggs. I sure enjoyed meeting you down at the Cincinnati Golf Show this weekend and showing you your swing on the 2D equipment that I have. And so I want to take about two or three minutes to just show you around meddling. This is the studio I use in the winter for all my students. You see there's the down the line camera angle for our 2D equipment. And then we have the face on camera angle also. And then what we also have here is 3D equipment to where I can show you your swing from six different camera angles with this 3D equipment. And we can get your swing from down to the 120th of a, one one hundred twentieth of a second in terms of exactly what your hips, shoulders, and hands are doing in the swing. And then also, we, I have the most realistic hitting curve I've ever seen from Cutter's Edge.com. So when you hit your full shot, it feels as realistic as possible. And then I have three different green speeds for you to practice your putting. 9.5 on the step meter, 10.5 on the step meter, and 12.5 on the step meter. That's benefited my students tremendously. And then also I have a lot of learning aids like this smart stick. You can see the rest of those learning aids over here in my bag that we can work on to help you learn a certain field in your golf swing that you and I both want. And then also I help my students a lot with their equipment through the winter. This is a frequency analyzer where we twang your club and it gives us a reading here. And then also we plot your whole set, each club on this, these lines to see if the set is really matched or not. Quite often they aren't, and it helps my students tremendously when they find out what clubs are the offending clubs. And then if we get tired of being indoors and we want to go outdoors and get time, we can do that. It's my daughter. Ellie, good to see you. I haven't seen her in weeks. <laughs> no wonder you've been gone, Ellie. You've been out here playing in the snow all this time. But this is our natural turf area 
This is closed until April, as you can see, uh, but it's a fantastic area where we can step outside and hit some balls and get some real ball flight. Or, if we get pretty satisfied and things are looking better on the video here, we're kind of cooped up inside and want to go outside, we can step on out and hit balls and see real ball flight for about 5 or 10 or 15 minutes, however long you and I can stand the cold, out into the air and we see them land at these different flags. I have a yardage book for this driving range. It's the first one I've ever seen in my life where we know exactly what it is for the front, back, and middle of each green. And again, the covered area here is heated, so we stay out there for about 5, 10, 15 minutes, like I said, and it enables us to see some ball flight, and then we get satisfied with things looking the way we want, and we come back inside, take off our coat, and look again at the video equipment to see how your swing's looking, to make sure that you understand it. And then notice too, my exercise ball up top here, and then also, so I help my students a lot with their fitness through the winter, and then I will help you also with your sports psychology, with your golf psychology from the golfpsych.com people down in Texas. That's helped my students tremendously a lot over the years too. So again, I sure enjoyed meeting you down at the Cincinnati Golf Show this weekend. I look forward to seeing you again out here this summer at Meadowlinks, or even right now in the winter. I have a lot of people that work on their games with me right through the winter. Check out more information about the things I do to help you at joelsud.com. Take care.